there's a better way to track the performance of your site, Forms gets some new capabilities, and native lazy loading is here. I'm Pete LePage. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 77. <music> Understanding and measuring the real-world performance of your website can be hard. Metrics like load, DOM content loaded, don't tell you what the user is seeing on screen. First paint and first contentful paint only capture the beginning of the experience. First meaningful paint is better, but it's still complex and sometimes wrong. The largest contentful paint API available starting in Chrome 77 reports the render time of the largest element visible in the viewport and makes it possible to measure when the main content of the page is loaded. To measure the largest contentful paint, you'll need to use a performance observer and look for the largest contentful paint events. Since a page often loads in stages, it's possible that the largest element on a page will change. So you should only report the last largest contentful paint event to your analytics service. Phil has a great post on the largest contentful paint API on web.dev. Many developers build custom form controls, either to customize the look and feel of existing elements or to build new controls that aren't built into the browser. Typically, this involves using JavaScript and hidden input elements, but it's not a perfect solution. Two new web features added in Chrome 77 make it easier to build custom form controls and remove many of the existing limitations. The form data event is a low-level API that lets any JavaScript code participate in a form submission. To use it, add a form data event listener to the form that you want to interact with, when the user clicks the submit button, the form fires the form data event, which includes a form data object that holds all of the data being submitted. Then in your form data event handler, you can update or modify the form data before it's submitted. Form associated custom elements help to bridge the gap between custom elements and native controls. It tells the browser to treat the custom element like all other form elements and adds common properties found on input elements like name, value, and validity. Check out the post on web.dev for all the details. I'm not sure how I missed native lazy loading in my last video. It's pretty amazing, so I'm including it now. Lazy loading is a technique that allows you to defer the loading of non-critical resources like off-screen images or iframes until they're needed, increasing the performance of your page. Starting in Chrome 76, the browser handles lazy loading for you without the need to write custom lazy loading code or use a separate JavaScript library. To tell the browser that you want an image or iframe lazy loaded, use the loading equals lazy attribute. Images and iframes that are above the fold will load normally, and those that are below are only fetched when the user scrolls near them. Check out the post on web.dev for details. These are just a few of the changes in Chrome 77 for developers. Of course, there's plenty more. The Contact Picker API, available as an origin trial, is a new on-demand picker that allows users to select an entry or entries from their contact list and share limited details of the selected contacts with a website. And there are new measurement units in the intel.numberformat API. Oh, and the Chrome Dev Summit is coming up on November 11th and 12th. It's a great opportunity to learn about the latest tools and updates coming to the web platform and hear directly from the Chrome engineering team. It'll be streamed live on our YouTube channel, or if you want to attend in person, you can request your invite at the Chrome Dev Summit website. All the details, including docs and specs, are in the updates post linked in the description. Be sure to check out the latest Chrome DevTools video to learn what's new in DevTools. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm Pete LePage, and as soon as Chrome 78 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.